Alright guys, so here's what I got. The ATN Excite 5. And the loser. American Gen 2 243. And we're going in there right now, so I can't talk anymore. Okay. Here I am in the stand. Um, I was on, honestly expecting there to be pigs when I came in um, because they've been coming at like 7, 7.30, early evening, late morning, midday. So I was expecting them to be here, but there's not a pig. There's a bunch of birds. Um, I think there might be a bird building a nest in here. So she's screaming at me right now. Um, She's not happy, but oh well, this is, this is my stand, not her bed. So I'm just going to sit here and wait. Um, I'll show you guys. The, it looks like the corn is underwater, so it's kind of, the hogs have made a mud hole out of the feeder section. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So that's 50 yards. Um, and the, it used to be dry where the feeder is, but yes, as you can see, it's all underwater, which is fine, pigs like that, um, and they're probably the ones that did it. So this is kind of the area that I strictly hog hunt. There's a fella here, Mr. Jimmy, who deer hunts here, and when the hogs are in, the deer don't come, so that is the whole purpose of me coming here, is to help him at least keep the hogs somewhat under control, if that's even possible. So for all of you that might get offended about baby pigs being killed, um, don't watch the upcoming video because they're going to grow up and make however many more they've got to go when we have the opportunity to take them. That's my stand. That's a lot of people's stand. Um, too bad if y'all don't stand there with us. Uh, there's got to be some kind of population control. Anyways, I'm going to shut up and be quiet and wait for him to come in. So we're gonna go look at what we got up here. She ain't as big as I thought she was. Boy, I got her right in the head. Good shot, maybe lady. Good shot. Yeah, two. Got two. Alright guys, there's another two for the Ruger American Gen 2 and the ATN Excite 5. Two down, I'm not going to show you the other one, it's just kind of kind of gruesome, so good headshot on both. Um, that was an awesome hunt. I was expecting to see them more in the daylight, but they came out kind of at dusk. I didn't even need the IR light. I put the um, scope on night vision and it lit up beautifully. Crisp, clear, lovely, lovely footage, lovely shot. Um, awesome work. Thank you guys so much, ATN and Ruger, Women's Outdoor News. Y'all are awesome.